And of course, if you like the fact that I got rid of coke from my life, then be happy. It is awesome. Well, oh. but to be fair, I didn't exactly eliminate it because I wanted to cut down on my sugar. I did it because it was just expensive. Seems like money is the factor in a lot of things these days. Well, anyway. I have to continue doing this. I think I'll do it like this. And I did it again because I was talking about saving money using drink mixes instead of buying coke. Well, it is nice to have a little bit more money. So, if you're trying to, uh, like, save money and you drink a lot of coke, just cut out the coke and replace it with drink mixes. Doesn't need to be, like, Kool-Aid, anything like that. It could be, like, generic brand stuff. Like, the stuff that I buy is, like, no-name brand. But I've also bought, like, uh, what is it called? I actually don't know what the brand is called, but there's... Like these drink mixes that you can find at like, like wholesalers and places where you can get like food service stuff. You don't need a membership for any of these stores, but I think they do offer a membership, but you don't really need it. Just keep that in mind if you want to save money. Okay, so we got the iron rods now. We need to turn them into screws, so we need six. There's no room here. There's no room here at all. And this is a weird place to build, so I'm just not going to build it here. Oh, there's a slug up there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, like, put it over here. And I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to stagger it like this just to save some space, like, lengthwise or widthwise. I don't know. This way wise. That's something I've done a lot in the last playthrough, and it really does work. Just need to double the size uh, this way. It really does save space. Wait a minute. Four, six. I built seven. Probably should get this all hooked up to power first. Eventually, I am going to build foundations, but just don't really want to do it yet. Okay, so basically we split... How are we going to do this? How did I do it back over there? At near our base, uh... I'm ready for getting how to do things. Oh wait, I know how to do it. I knew how to do it. Um, put the merger over here. Splitter here. And splitter here. 
So we're going to take two of these, put them in here. And we need as much room as possible, so we're going to curve it a little bit outwards. And then put this like that. And then we should have enough room for the others. Like, I don't want to burn concrete on foundations just yet because we're not really producing that much at this point in time. So, gotta save it for, like, other stuff. I'll just do it like this. It would probably be much cleaner if I used the stackable, like, conveyor poles, but... I think this is fine as is. Now we just need to connect this all up. And I'm hoping all of this uh, fits. Okay, so probably should have configured this first, but anyway. Wait, no. Iron rods, damn it. Or, no. It is screws. Like, what the hell am I thinking? Yeah, all of these are supposed to be screws. Double check everything here. Yep, everything's good. So we got the screws, we got... Uh, iron plates. See how many you have. Do you have... You have a full stack of these. I'm just gonna take them because we need lots of these. You just keep doing your thing. Twenty per minute. So, what I'm gonna do is... The merger. Like, it's not gonna work that well on MK1 conveyor belts because it only supports 30 per minute. So, this will probably be the first things that I'll be upgrading to MK2s. But anyway. So we got our screws over here, and we got our plates there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, probably what's going to happen is... Do three. Merger. This. And keep in mind, we're gonna have better places uh, where we can produce this stuff, so it doesn't matter that these are not on foundations. 
Like once I built this, I'm pretty much going to leave it in place because it does take a long time to build up as you see in the last few minutes. Anyway, there is the screws. And then we'll bring this along here. Then we'll put this over here. All right, so we got our iron plates, we got our screws. All right, we need more reinforced iron plates before we can make reinforced iron plates. Alright, give me some more of these things. Oh, I need to make more screws. Oh, better idea. We're producing a lot of screws here anyway, so let's do that. Oh, that is such a brilliant idea. Glad I thought of it. Yeah, so we don't have to make any more screws. We have machines that will do it for us. Yeah, but we still have to make our reinforced iron plates. Still need to automate that. Now we're gonna need 16 of them. Eight for a single one of those assemblers. Oh, come on, really? I'm trying to slide under him. Whatever. Let's go. These assemblers. Okay, this should be enough room. If it's not, I'll be pissed off. So, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna put the... bears over here. I guess like so. Uh, I don't think that's gonna... This is not going to work. In this direction. Oh, come on, really? Okay, what if we did it like this? No? Okay, let's try something else. Go this way. Yeah! That works. And this works. And then we're gonna have to like squeeze something through here. And we'll do it like that. God, this looks so stupid, but it's gonna work. Yeah, like, this is absolutely disgusting, but it's gonna work. Except, this didn't need to go here. Wow. 
This absolutely did not need to go here. It could just go like this. And then this thing is like... Doing whatever. Okay, this works. Let's go. Let's make some reinforced iron plates finally. Except we forgot to power this up, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> All right. Or maybe not this way, but. Bring it this way. There we go. We got 60 per second. This produces 40 per minute. Yeah, I think we have like an imbalance of resources here, but at this point, like... This is the part where I say, fuck it, it's good enough. It generates five per minute, and I definitely can make, like, more per minute. Just, like, by, by doing it manually. So, at this point in time, you know what, let's just... Let's just do this. Merger. And there we go. Oh my god, that's exhausting, but we do have some uh, reinforced iron plates coming in. I'm hoping we can get like a better like recipe for this because this base recipe is really stupid. Like it is so resource intensive and I think the if I remember correctly the later ones can use like something like rubber or concrete or whatever anyway as I was saying now that we have that done I have a hostile oh I heard that Oh, he's still not dead. You need to clear this out. Alright, that was quick. Wait, is that a cave? Is that a cave entrance? Should I even go in here? There are spiders in here. Probably. Yeah, spiders, and it's like, it's only that thing in there. Let's get out of here. If they follow me out, then we'll engage them. Come here. Oh, you fucker. Ah. Oh. Thing of remains. Like, I could hear you up here. All right, so I don't want to go too far just yet. Like we do need to go exploring eventually, but right now I just want to get everything set up for like everything. If that makes sense. I need to build a space elevator. Probably should just take a quick peek around here. Oh, this guy. Come here. No! Oh! Damn it, you led your shots. Uh, 
Uh, anyway. Let me see. I want to see over here. Like, I'm looking for hard drives mainly, but... I guess I could start picking up the, uh... What's it called? What were you called? The hard drives? Damn it, I was trying to slide. Oh, what's down here anyway? Wait a minute, I recognize this area. Wait, in the last playthrough, wasn't this the area where I was building a ramp like down over there? Going down here and into nodes that I just never used? Because if I remember this correctly, if I'm correct about this, up there is the quartz area that I was making lots of silica for. So, not 100% sure until I explore that area, but basically, that's what I'm thinking. But you know, it doesn't look like there's any hard drives over here in this area. Probably should pick up that slug since I'm all the way out here. Like, I don't really want to explore too much until I get those blade runners. Grab these nuts. Start getting these slugs. Blue powers. What was blue power slugs? This semi slug I seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into fix it technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the mound. Yeah, like... Blue power slugs. If I remember correctly, it was just green, yellow, and purple. So is this like a new slug or something? But well, we're about to find out. So I'm going to start picking up the slugs now. And, uh, I was going to get the concrete. Like, I really need to be on top of that. Oh. No, I just realized. The garbage can there. It's like, I do need to throw stuff away. Like, yeah. Of course, we have the awesome sink as well. Can we make the mam right now? No. So later on, when I do have a good amount of reinforced iron plates going, I'll be able to just drop a mam and just research stuff on the fly. I especially need that for the hard drives because it does take a long time for it to do that. And there we go. We got lots. This stuff. And I did go over there to make the miners. It's like I was thinking I was going here to make reinforced iron plates. And then I thought might as well just get it from the storage there. Not enough space, huh? Well. Let's get rid of this iron ore. Like we really don't need it. And then we'll make two of these. Like, it feels like I'm actually making a lot of progress quite quickly. But hang on. Let's keep this going. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Okay, this is impure, so it's like only... It's going to be two constructors for this. Put a splitter right over here. Wait a minute, I saw something new. Color cartridge. 
I don't know what that does. Well, anyway. Do this, and then... We pick this... We can't pick this up. And then I'll just put, like... Let's put a container here, just so we have... Like, a place where we can pick up... Some more additional, I guess... Stuff here. Or, you know what? Probably should, like, get rid of this. Let's make a little bit more space in this area. And then we'll put a merger this way. Where's the line? Here we go. Because we are going to need a lot of concrete. I also remember from the last playthrough, someone gave, like, advice on what to do with concrete. Basically, try to capture these concrete nodes, or these limestone nodes, and then just have it making concrete. Because you are going to need lots of concrete, and there are recipes that use the concrete for, like, alternate recipes, and apparently there's a lot of limestone nodes, so... We can get this up and running. Like, we're gonna have lots of concrete. It's also good for the awesome shop, since we can just dump all of our excess concrete. So if we don't end up using it, we at least won't go to waste. I guess we'll maybe go this way. And then two constructors over here. Lower is too steep, huh? And put a splitter here. And then goes over here. And we'll make the concrete. Concrete's coming out very slowly. Then we put, uh, where is it? Storage container over here. 